Tonight, Christina Carzel hosts an all-new episode of The Lounge. The following program may contain mature material some viewers may not find suitable. Viewer discretion is advised. It's The Lounge with Christina Carswell. Tonight, Christina welcomes Alex, also known as Axel, from the channel Swaft, Sarah from the channel Lyra Kyleran, and Sean, a professional QA video game tester. And now, here's your host, Christina Carswell. Welcome to the lounge on Two Dice. Today, we've got an interesting uh, topic to kind of start off with. Uh, upvotes and downvotes. So, should services allow negative feedback, or are our internet overlords trying to teach us to be better people? AKA <laughs> internet points, do they matter? <laughs> Epeen! <laughs> Or just like how Facebook just uh, introduced their like system. Yes. Yeah. With the angry oh, face, right. the happy face, the cry face, the heart. I did not notice. Know that Facebook did that. Yeah, yeah they you, finally uh, rolled it out. Well, like. It's it's more it's more or less like that's not to do with the liking system. That's just to do with the fact that like if someone makes like a post of like my grandma just died, rip grandma. Which is like, all right, that's fine that that person made a post. There's no way of saying, like, I dislike this because your grandma died. It's just like, yeah. I like this. It's like, you like my grandma dying? You're an <laughs> asshole. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, like, like, it's, more clarification. Yeah, it's <laughs> like that, it took just, that meme that went around. Am I liking this to say that I support them? Or do am I liking this to say that I like their misery? Yeah, that's that's come up a few times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's just like... You know, and then, the, you know, there's sites like Reddit and all that stuff that have, like, up and down votes to balance it out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and then on the other but, hand, how do you downvote saying that, you know, my grandma just died. Well, I'm downvoting you because it's not relevant news. No, well, no. The, 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 it, like, for, like, for, like, Facebook, like, if they added a dislike button, it'd be like, you know, I dislike this because your grandma died. Or, you know, you could do what any sane person would do and just comment, I'm sorry your grandma died, and you don't even have to click the like button. Yeah. That's that is true. Actually. So like I like I'm 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 one of those people. Like I'll comment on things, like even if it's just like a, I'm sorry you're going through this, or like feel better yeah. type thing. That's that speaks more volume than clicking a button with a thumbs up. Sometimes right? though, it's just like you look at you kind of feel socially awkward going like, what do I say? What do I do? And then they kind of present this convenient button. It's just like oh, or you know, whoop. don't do anything and keep <laughs> scrolling. Yeah. But, you know, like uh, Scott Williams just said, it's, um, just don't. Just don't, exactly. Just don't. Yeah, which actually, yeah, so uh, that's something that I had experienced recently. Uh, I noticed Do tell. some interweber who had posted something rather interesting at some point. Yeah. And uh, I was just looking at this and thinking, you know, I, I feel like this person needs to be downvoted into oblivion because, quite frankly, their post wasn't exactly useful. It was something on Stack Overflow, if I remember correctly. And the person who posted up a question regarding something I was looking up, I can't remember what it was, but the, the top comment was, show me your code. It wasn't even, like, properly spelt out or any proper grammar in there. It was just, show me your code. Now... For me, anyone who posts that on Stack Overflow, I, I just look at it and go, why did you even bother wasting your time doing that? If, if you can't answer the question without seeing a snippet of code, you're in the wrong place. But I digress. Anyways, uh, the point being uh, is... I, 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 I wouldn't even put it like that. Like, it, it, If it's like a thing, like someone's like, I don't know why my function isn't working properly. Right? And it's like, they obviously have a piece of logic that is flawed in their function, yeah, I would want to see the code. Yeah, I'd be like, show, show, hand, show me the code, and I'll look at it and be like, there's your flaw. Yeah, right? that, or like, on the other hand, I've seen posts that have a very, like, well-detailed explanation of what's going on, and I still see people asking for a snippet of code, right? The thing yeah, is, that if, you're, if you're working on a proprietary project, that's a no-no. You can't do that, right? Yeah, and, and that's understandable like if if there's like ndas involved in something like that but in general though like 
if 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 you're going to Stack Overflow or you're going to like those code sites like GitHub and stuff like that, and you're like, hey, I need a piece of software, like I need help with this. I would go to someone who you're working on with the project first and be like, all right, here's the code that I've written. What the fuck's going on? Yeah. And if they can't figure it out, then like copy the code, change some, change variable names, change things that it makes. Get creative. Well, yeah, get creative yeah. And, and, and keep everything the same. Just change variable names. Right. Well, yeah. Now, before we get too far off track here, getting to the original point, uh, when I was looking at this, comment the only two options i had was either to upvote it or to report them for uh illicit activity now the thing is is that what they were doing wasn't really considered illicit activity so that's just a waste of energy but i have no mm-hmm. other option to basically say go fuck yourself um yeah. you know, other than posting it now the thing is is that when i look at this it's like do i really want to proclaim in public go fuck yourself <laughs> probably not which then begs me to wonder, okay, are our internet overlords trying to teach us to be better people by leaving out that option? Hmm. No. Because so. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It just creates some stagnant thing where it's, and it, it's, it's a lot of the issues with a lot of things about internet culture nowadays where everyone's trying to create like just a, an inclusive positive space. Mm. So it's just yeah. like, if everyone likes it, no one's going to see the criticism, right? If I see yeah. some stupid thing that everyone's liked on Facebook and I don't like it, my natural reaction is whatever, I'll fucking move along, you yeah. know? There's like, and, and like to go back on like sites that don't allow for not necessarily negative feedback, but criticism, um, like criti- like critical feedback that's what comments are for. Um, so. Comments are basically better than. Well, yeah, because comments, comments allow you yeah. to, to, to get the point across of like, I don't like this for this reasons. And then start a discussion about it. If everyone's just blindly clicking like, um, not to mention not that the, the like system on Facebook is actually designed to. <clears throat> feed your information to Facebook's like Facebook overlord. Yeah, um, that's why I don't use Facebook anymore. <laughs> well it's 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 not even that. It's like if, if if you don't if you spend your time not clicking on like there's a guy, I gotta f- find the article. There's a guy who spent a year not clicking the like button on anything anyone posted on Facebook. Instead he would post a comment. Mm. And he noticed yeah. that <coughs> when he wasn't when he wasn't clicking the like button and actually commenting, Facebook was tailoring it as um, uh, Facebook was was tailoring everything that he was seeing based on what he was liking. And he noticed that when he stopped using the like button, he stopped getting like garbage memes, stupid like two second video clips, yeah. uh, just general a lot of negativity because Facebook's algorithms didn't know how to handle someone who doesn't like shit (laughs) and and i just general i don't click the like button and i've noticed that the same is that like i used to be you know several years ago i used to be like oh i like this like i like this like i like this like and then i forgot about it and it was just like oh remember this thing you liked five years ago i was like no i i don't like that anymore actually like look at my my taste (laughs) So it's just like, I noticed that like most of my stuff is now like most of my friends on Facebook are, you know, the the stuff that gets posted to my wall is a lot more generally like either relevant stuff that is relevant to me or it's, you know, stuff that ends up sparking a lot of discussion between a lot of my friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I, that's all I get on my Tumblr or Facebook feed now is, uh, just stuff from friends because I don't like shit anymore. I haven't used the like function in God, um, almost a year and a half. Not to mention they track the likes and use it to, to tailor ads to you and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just that, that alone. That that's interesting just to see that. So my feed's kind of full of garbage, really. 
Um, <laughs> I had someone walk by my screen one day and was just like, wow, your feed does not really look all that interesting. The only response I had was, you hear that, guys? <laughs> you gotta step up your A-game. <laughs> I just looked at my feed, and a lot of it is uh, my friends reposting memes that I yeah. just don't care about, but I don't want yeah. to, like, get rid of uh, watching them because sometimes, like, they actually post things that I do like, so... You're ca I'm kind of caught in that uh, little catch-22, damned if I do, damned if I don't scenario at the mm -hmm. moment. Yeah, I've stopped. I've actually unfollowed a bunch of my friends on Facebook, largely because uh, I just get stockpiled with notifications uh, as a result. And it, oh, I hate when I get stockpiled on notifications because it's like you're, you're kind of forced to go onto Facebook on a regular basis to get rid of them. And I don't go on Facebook very often. Yeah, I, I had to do that to one of my friends who disliked Star Wars and was posting a whole bunch of stuff about how they hated Star Wars. I was like, I don't want to see this. Really? Yeah. I did not appreciate that just because they couldn't understand the parallels. Yeah. Yeah, so got rid of that real fast. <laughs> do not look back. Ever. Yeah, I'm not but, sure what the latest trends on Facebook are. Like, you were, like that whole um, smiley face, sad face uh, thing that they started. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that was a thing until you guys just mentioned it. Like yeah. uh, they earlier, just not too long ago. So I got super confused by it when it popped out. It's just like, where the hell is a love button? Love. <laughs> yeah, and then you can see how many people said love, how many people said like, how many people said wow, like. You can see who said what pretty much in the Facebook in the basically turned into BuzzFeed. Pretty yeah. much. Well, just wait until I have the top 10 button. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, that's going to be weird. Everyone ends up having like 100 billion top 10s. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we, do, we don't need um, thousands of top 10s just everywhere yeah. on the page. Like, I use Facebook mainly because of like events and stuff like that so for the most part it's like when i, I only go through my feed when i'm like bored at work you know like on my phone. yeah actually because i'm bored let's go down the rabbit hole <laughs> well, that's what i have tumblr <laughs> tumblr for and then uh if tumblr bores me then i'll go on to facebook mm. but yeah um yeah so I just lost my train of thought. I heard something about <laughs> Tumblr, though. Uh, what's been going on with them? Uh, no clue, to be honest. It, all all Tumblr has is the like is a like button and a reblog button. There's In no my safe space. Yeah. yeah, there's no there's no set there's no um, dislike button or actually technically you I guess you could say anon is the dislike button because that's when all anon hate, hate is so bad. Yeah, well, that's kind of that's into private messaging, so yeah. I would consider that the same thing. I know, but that's like the closest thing Tumblr has in terms of in terms of all that. But so that's it's admit, pretty. Other than that, it's just up for Tumblr. Yeah. So, like, the only thing I know about it is just art and butts and porn. That's about it. It's pretty much yeah. a site. <laughs> <laughs> don't 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 jump down the rabbit hole if you don't have. You to. just described like. The majority of the internet. Ah, ah, fantastic! But if you go on like Instagram, it's tasteful porn. It's artistic. <laughs> well, well Tumblr's ta Tumblr's tasteful, like, like it's not overly grotesque and all that. It and you haven't gone to some places on Tumblr then. Oh, fair enough. You generally but haven't been on the internet. <laughs> no, I, I'm very selective of what blogs I follow on Tumblr. But yeah. You can Your just followers? search, like, uh, tags, and you'll yeah. find them. It's sort of like the friend system, except for you specifically follow, and then every all their posts show up on your feed, or your yeah. dashboard. Okay. Yeah. So uh, basically, think of it as, like, YouTube, okay? You have subscriptions to certain people, and the more people you follow, the more videos you see, right? So Tumblr is kind of like that, where it's, like, the more people you follow the more of their posts that you'll see on your feed. Oh, okay. And then there's that giant wall of saying that people reposted your content. 
Yes. Yeah. Which I think as a consumer, I really don't give a care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But some people really do. Because Those people uh, are special. It's mostly artists that really care. Yeah. Because they post their shit up on Tumblr and then they get mad when people repost it to other sites and stuff like that. That's yeah, understandable. That's, that's, that's one of the things that. You can sort of compile that as a report or just have that visible to the person who submitted mm -hmm. the content. For the rest of us. Well, that's when well, you, you get can to share watermarks. To other sites. Yeah. Well, that's when you get to using watermarks. So that, like, I use yeah. Tumblr for art, my artwork and I have a watermark that's splayed across my artwork that's quiet enough that you uh yeah but that's a little bit different i'm talking about yeah. just using the share function on tumblr oh, yeah. to share the post like i've had i've done that for some people's art posted to facebook and they've messaged me saying don't do that but i'm just like but i'm like sharing it with my friends like it's really excited but they get mad anyways so I guess some people are really picky, oh, but yeah, stealing people's art, like saving the image and then posting it elsewhere, is theft. Yeah, well, apparently Tumblr's had a lot of problems with that too, which is which is why there's I think might be the reason why everyone's what well, not everyone, but a lot of people are paranoid of people posting their re reposting their shit on uh, Facebook or other sites yeah. because they're they're afraid it's going to get stolen. I've done that where I had a whole bunch of photos I had saved from like um, early 2000s era, like 90s or whatever, when the internet was dialed up. Yeah. So I had a whole bunch of like stock photos just saved from like just around the internet. I was like, oh, I think people would think these are cool. And I had the idea. I was like, oh, I'll post them on Tumblr. And then like the people who made them can like contact me and like cite them or whatever. And uh, people got really mad at me for reposting the shit. Yeah, like, Tumblr, hey, look, Tumblr, it's out there. <laughs> you should be Tumblr's, happy that people are looking at it. Tumblr's problematic at best. Well, the thing is, is that like it's it, it really depends. If it's just like a meme or something like that, nobody gives a shit. Yeah. But like when it's an artist who their venue of artwork is like whatever, they post most of their shit to Deviant Art, right, or whatever. Yeah. Um, so DeviantArt, like, that's their hub for their their artwork. So any other artwork that they've done previously is easily accessible through the gallery. Mm -hmm. You know, the same works for, like, any of the other artist sites that exist out there for whatever fandom or, or like, niche market of, of art. Yeah. Um, I just say De DeviantArt because it's like the first one that came to mind, and it's, it's the only one that's worth a damn because you could actually get. Well, no, it's because, there. but no, there's a Patreon now. Just there's Patreons exploded, and yeah. you know, I love uh, Patreon. There's Patreon. There's Inkly. There's there's like so many different ones that, um, that that now like you can commission artwork from. But I'm, I'm talking about like people who draw art, not necessarily for commission, but just to draw art. Mm -hmm. They might, what they do is, you know, um, the thing with Tumblr is like, oh, if I make a Tumblr blog for all of my art that I draw, anytime someone reblogs it, it, it's more exposure, but it traces it back to the source. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone comes and right clicks and saves my picture and then posts it up and gives me no credit, then rightfully so, I'm going to be pissed because then... It's, it's, yeah, the artwork is getting out there, but assumedly it gets no, there's no way of someone who goes, oh, I really like this piece of art, but I don't know who made this. Now, yeah. most, most technologically savvy people know that there's a reverse image search for Google mm. um, <laughs> and can just right click. I love reverse image search. And you could just be like, where else on the internet is this picture existed? And then figure it out. You know, there's, there's. There's websites like Sauce Now that like will give you the exact source of that picture. Um, so most people can just do it that way, but it's the fact that it cuts off. It's someone posts the art on their blog and doesn't give any credit to the original artist. Um, you know, it, the same can be said for like music and stuff like that. Like, mm. it, it, there's a, there's a, there's a. Uh, a similarity between 
uh, you know, how, um, how artists, you know, like kind of claim like, oh, well, I can, I can rip this song and then post it up to YouTube and then post it to SoundCloud and then post it to Last yeah. FM and then post it a million different streaming sites and Groove Shark and all that other stuff. And it doesn't go back to the original artist, even though the original artist uploaded it originally to YouTube because he was like some YouTuber or something like that. Yeah. That's but I think there's a slight difference with the art in particular, where if someone's reposting because let's say they couldn't find the artist and they're just reposting it because they like the art or whatever. It's two different versions of it. It's the person who doesn't get any monetary value from it and the person who does, I think is a really big issue. But the thing for art is it, it's more about visual recognition. Like there are several artists that I am a fan of that if I see their art, I know it's theirs, but be that's because I'm a fan of their art style. Mm. So, but for someone who isn't like me, who just looks at it and goes, that's a really cool picture, or that's a really nice you know, digital art piece. I want to know who did this so that I can, you know, see what else they've done. Mm -hmm. If there's no credit given, then there's no way for that person to really, to really find that out. I, and, I think, and, yeah, I, I think I, what she was trying to get at is more like if you have advertisements on your website or some like YouTube, right? You you get your uh, money through the, re the revenue from the ads, right? If uh, someone takes your video, copies it, and posts it up somewhere else, whatever the way the way they do it, the thing is, is that suddenly you start losing your revenue because all of the traffic is now going through a different service. That's oh yeah. And, 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 and that's, that's honestly like kind of to derail this whole conversation. That's exactly what happened with SoFlow mm -hmm. on Facebook. Cause SoFlow was literally just ripping off people's videos and then reposting to Facebook's video site. Or yeah. Like, that happened a little while ago. Well, no, that's SoFlow. He, he's like some f whatever quote unquote, big name Facebook video person. Like, I see his videos linked by a bunch of my friends occasionally, and I just generally ignore them because they're not funny to me. But you take That's someone like... what e -bombs World used to do. Yeah, and uh. e -bombs World caught a lot of flack for that, too. Yeah. Because they would, they would rip animations, they would rip videos from other sites that were originally hosted on those sites and then re-hosted on e -bombs World, and not a lot of people knew about that. Mm -hmm. I mean... Um, I used to embed my Flash videos with a little bit of code to detect if it was on e-bombs or not, or replace it with an old granny ass. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, welcome like to e-bombs world. <laughs> anyway. The one thing that I have with this is, um, if let's say I'm the content creator, and I see both versions of someone hosting, let's say, a video for on their channel just reposting or whatever and then another person reposting it but then gaining monetary value i have two different options to contact that person one contact the person be like look i understand that you like the video but can you please take it down okay yeah. so most likely the person who is just posting it to post it will probably comply depends on the person but you can be a little bit more polite to them and not, like, force, like, legal action, you know? And then the person who is getting monetary value from posting your content, that could be like, look, buddy, this is my video. I'd appreciate it if you take it down. Like, this is not yours, it's mine. Kind of deal. And if you don't take you're it down, down there is going to be legal you. action. That, yeah. that, that's, that, that You're literally describing how DMCA works. Pretty much. <laughs> but, like, art, like... Most likely, if you contact someone, like, let's say someone posted, like, my artwork, same thing. People are a little bit more lenient on this end. Be like, look, uh, you probably don't know, but that's my piece of art. It comes from here. If you could link it for me, then we're all good. But yeah. then if you're, like, having monetary value from it, be like, look, that's my art. You can link it. You can do this. And then, like, you can basically contact them and, like, the, work the something problem, out. The problem your, with... Uh, monetary. The problem with like art specifically and like digital pictures is I can just go right click save picture done yeah. and then oh yeah. oh you're, you're gonna bug me okay cool I'll just close this blog and open up an identical blog again and just re-upload everything else I yeah. mean that's that's when like 
I, I've, I've been in communities where like artists have complained that certain, you know, 4chan caught that flack, you know, all the mm. different Chan sites eventually catch those DMCA requests and takedowns from artists because, you know, there's a thread that has all of their artwork just there. Right. Mm -hmm. And they try and file a DMCA request and then they just like, all right, well, we'll take down the thread. And then three weeks later, the thread shows up again and they're like, here's Jim Bob's artwork, like all of it again. And it's just like the cycle just repeats itself. You know, things with like music and, and movies and video games have have uh, a kind of different. A different system to them where it's. It's the same system, but it's it's a different attitude towards it. Yeah, because people don't realize like how how much work actually goes into like creating a really nice you know digital piece of digital art. Like I'm not just talking about photoshopping an existing picture, like creating yeah. like from a blank canvas, creating a piece of art digitally. So much work. It, it takes yeah. a lot of work. So it's just like those people kind of kind of get you know, the raw end of the deal when I yeah. can just right click. I mean, most artists don't care if you're right clicking and saving it to your own computer to use it as a desktop or, you know, to edit it and, you know, use it as a piece of artwork in your home. Mm. There, there's, there's the other thing too with the, uh, with doing with the art community on Tumblr is a lot of the time, uh, at least in my experience and uh, some of my friends, we will, we'll post a bunch of artwork and over the course of however many weeks, months, whatever. And, but one piece will somehow stand up, stand out all the rest and it'll get note after note, after note, after note and wrecking, just be spread throughout Tumblr. Whereas everything else that we've done gets almost no attention, no attention at all. And that's, Oh my God, you can't even imagine just how annoying that is. It's to, it. Sometimes it, it, it's gotten to, I have had that happen to me once. It was literally just a pro uh, a a progress photo uh, progress rendering of a master sword essay master sword type animation that I was working on just sort of as a Legend of Zelda tribute and that one image has gotten over almost fifteen hundred notes by now I think probably more and everything else is only like two or three notes to the point where. Anytime I see, oh, yeah, every, every time I see some new thing on my feed saying, oh, this got reblogged again or this got liked again, it's to the point where I have s become so disconnected with that piece because it's just like you're, no one's coming back to my, to the rest of my work to take a look at it. It's just, oh, this one piece, look, this one piece, look. It's like, no, it could be come back. The other pieces is just that's the one piece that they keep recognizing. Right. Yeah. Well, it's also yeah. Legend of Zelda. You're other gonna other get the fanboys. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. Like, I have other things on there that are also Legend of Zelda that are other progress picks. In fact, I have one of things on there that are that's a finished version of that. Mm -hmm. Yet the finished version doesn't get. It was a. Uh, I think last I checked, the finished version only had four notes. And oh, it's wow. just like, ooh, kid, okay, what the fuck is going on here? But. Yeah, actually. It might be a different reason for that. But you never know. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting, actually. Uh... It's, a, it's, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I think we've hit the peak of this conversation now. Yeah. So. That's all the time we have for today. Be sure to follow us on all social media at Toon Dice on Facebook and with the hashtag Toon Lounge on Twitter. And... If you're a fan of Toon Dice, make sure to support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Toon Dice. And on behalf of Axel, Sean, Sarah, and myself, Christina Carswell, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on The Lounge.